you go for a run. At the beginning, everything goes fine. Suddenly, your breath starts to get faster. Sweat starts dripping off your forehead. Your legs begin to burn and every step just seems like pure pain. Suddenly there's a voice telling you that you need to stop. You feel incredibly tired. Even slowing down your pace won't make it easier. After all, being the little rebel you are, you decide you push through. The next 10 minutes just seem like hell on earth. All of a sudden, the finish line appears. There's a burst of energy flooding through your body. You can increase your speed. You even start sprinting and smiling. After 50 meters of sprinting, you cross the line, feeling incredibly relieved and awake. Looking back, it wasn't that hard for you. You realized that you could have easily run another 20 minutes. This is a prime example for the central governor theory, seeing fatigue as a projection of your mind. For those of you having not that much time because you have to go to the gym or eat a donut, here's a quick overview. The central governor theory states that fatigue in exercise is a projection of your mind, which task is to protect your body from possible damages. The so-called central governor process in your brain is limiting the maximum amount of muscle fiber recruitment, therefore limiting your performance and muscle growth. The muscle fiber recruitment can be increased by different factors, such as music, caffeine, self-motivation or drugs. In life or death situation, you use as much muscle fibers as you can, which may lead to superhuman strength. An Australian swimming coach uses a quite funny way to increase performance in training. In swim training he puts a baby crocodile in the water after the athletes have started their race, to make sure that they are using every energy they've got. This training method, yet bizarre, may be extremely effective. Because what normally happens during exercise is like this. When going for a run, your fatigue level will change. At the beginning pretty low, then slowly increasing when you start to sweat and gasping. After crossing more than a half of your distance, you get motivated. Fatigue level stays constant, yet the exercise is still really exhausting. When seeing the finish line, you get incredible power. Your fatigue level is decreasing within a second. And well, having a crocodile as your assistant will probably lead to this. On normal circumstances, meaning having no crocodile assistant, the central governor decides in advance how many muscle fiber you can recruit, meaning how much energy he will provide you to fulfill your task, normally just enough to do it and not more. Think about this example, you're in the gym, it's your last set and you decide to go really heavy. You take a deep breath and lift the weight up with all your power. But you made a mistake. The weight wasn't 50 kilograms but 20. So how was your movement speed? Probably pretty fast, wasn't it? That's because of your central governor that has been activating more muscle fibers than necessary. Hearing this, the central governor seems to be a pretty big douchebag, isn't he? Actually no. Your central governor's task is actually to protect your organism by making sure that everything is in balance, also called homeostasis. Homeostasis is when glycogen storage of your muscles are pretty full, every cell gets enough oxygen, your body temperature stays on the same level, enough water in your body, etc. It's the steady state of your body. The problem here is that exercise is actually disrupting your homeostasis on basically every level. Disrupting the homeostasis is even the prime factor of muscle growth. And as an athlete you want to recruit as much muscle fibers as possible to make sure you're delivering your best performance and achieving optimum muscle growth. So what you have to do is trick your central governor. The muscle fiber recruitment is even on maximum intensity at about 60% in a normal person 
and 80% in trained weightlifters. In a life or death situation, this can raise up to 100%, ignoring the central governor and therefore may lead to severe injuries. There are plenty of headlines in the newspapers of mothers lifting up a car if their kid was trapped under it, showing superhuman strength. This may be because of a maximum muscle fiber recruitment. Mike Tyson, for example, is known for sniffing cocaine before his big fights to increase performance. But today we focus on legal ways to increase muscle fiber recruitment. Of course, this won't raise your muscle fiber recruitment to 100%, but it will still be remarkable. Some of them you may have even used before without noticing it. Before you start to train, get the right amount of recovery. Sleep can reduce your training performance and limits your ability to build muscles. Even Arnold says to sleep at least 6 hours and if the governator's saying it, it's true. Motivate yourself before you go to a gym. Watch a motivational video, there are plenty of them on YouTube. Caffeine found in coffee or coke was actually banned in competitive sports until 2004, showing how effective this chemical is mainly because it stimulates the central nerve system. Studies have shown that an ingestion of a carbohydrate source 15 minutes before exercise can increase your endurance. An example of a healthy food high in carbohydrates is this banana. Stay cold. Our organism needs a steady body temperature to function properly. For example, soccer players are getting way more fatigued in a hot environment and not only because of the loss of water. A way to do it is drink cold drinks in a hot environment. Make sure to drink water before and during training. Scientists recommend to drink 150% of your fluid loss. Listen to music if you want to. Busting your favorite song can lead to increased performance. But make sure you listen to the right music, at best something that makes you feel aggressive or happy. These have shown to increase performance. We all have that gym buddy that tells you one more rep, one more rep and once that one rep is done, he tells you ok, now two more to go. Maybe he's a douchebag, but studies actually have shown that this false information can increase muscle fiber recruitment.